Hi there everybody, my name is Kate and welcome to my channel, Trinergy Awakens Naturally. So I got another download this morning and this one is one that I've gotten before um, and was not told to share it um, because there's unfolding information always um, that was relevant to my personal life. However, it's to the point now where more people really need to understand this, I'm told. Um, there's a great deal of distortion, <laughs> oh so much distortion with what we call man and woman woman and the man and woman energy because it's based on our built up social and societal ideas about what man and woman should be. Now this is not a statement on anyone's gender specifically or how they identify because most of us really are not identifying in what our energy is presenting anyway um, because we're overly identified with one side of ourselves, either the masculine or the feminine. And really the balance, no matter how you're gendered, nor how you identify, the balance is in finding how may I bring in my masculine and my feminine so that I am a more complete human being that knows how to be primarily in my, for instance, divine feminine energy because that's how I choose to identify. That is for me the most comfortable spot to be, is to be a little more on the physical, out here societal, girly stuff you know, more womanly stuff. However, energetically, I always really want to be presenting in that very balanced place of masculine and feminine. Because if I'm not, then it may be that I show up somewhere and I really need to go some, you know, dude with that. I really need to be able to amp that up into something that's a little more masculine in its traits. Um, in the positive aspects of masculine, the positive aspects of feminine, those are the things that I really, really want to be exemplifying and balancing at all times. And when that stuff is out of balance. For men, it looks a whole lot like hostility, aggression, and you know, all of this societally and with our societal norms of how we're genderizing, of course you know, 212. Um, it's not the case individually, but as a mass, we see men as stronger and they are physically. However, we see them stronger on every front, smarter, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of those assumptions we make um, are really not accurate any more than women are the ones who are nurturers. They're the ones that you can get that soft, squishy stuff from. Um, none of those societal norms that we've created that we as human beings have decided that this is what a man is, this is what a woman is. Neither one of those is accurate anymore um, if they ever were because there are plenty of men who are out there that are quite sensitive and know how to do things um, in a very kind and loving way and there are plenty of women out there who know how to do that as well <laughs> without emasculating and without doing all the dirty girl stuff that girls can do sometimes and that's really what my primary focus is um, of this particular download is that it's really helpful for men and women both, for people, pardon me, for people, um, whether they identify more masculine or more feminine, irrelevant. It's very important to remember in communication and interaction with people and in looking back historically at our past, what the Black Widow is. Now, the Black Widow in Marvel Comics was a superhero. She was a Russian spy. She was born, bred. I mean, absolutely. We're we're snatching this child um, because they're farmed that way. They're grown. I mean, it's a disgusting concept, but you know, um, they are identified as seed that is has gifts that has abilities um, and can do stuff, get stuff done. Um, so naturally we want to recruit that at birth and you know be training heavily so that we have a Russian spy um, and counterintelligence. So <laughs> the problem is that this young woman decides at some point, I believe she falls in love with one of our hawk Hawkeye, I think, is, um, I don't remember the story exactly, so forgive my, um, the legit details on the actual movie. However, let's just roll with the concept that this black widow who's trained to use her seductive wiles and get in where she needs to to get the intelligence she needs for the the Russian ministry, she's trained to be very, very slick. She's trained to work with men in particular and to really use her feminine um, beguiling and all that sexy stuff. You know, she really uses her body and all of those other super soldier skills that are 
kind of whack when you use them that way. Um, but that's her job. That's what she does. That's what she was trained to do. Um, they're very graceful, very elegant, um, well-spoken, cultured, well-read, and ruthless absolutely ruthless <laughs> will make you toothless and dead I mean they're not kind um, they're counterintelligence and they're spies um, that's what they do that's their job and they have the added bonus of all the spooky X-Men power kind of stuff except Marvel um, not to tick off my my uh, X-Men creators so anyway she falls in love with another character that she is um, supposed to be taking down and decides to spare his life. Um, and again, if that's not the most accurate <laughs> of that particular story, I, I apologize. However, just roll with that story. Well, it leaves her quite conflicted, but it leaves her with the ability to do everything that she could before, but in a more righteous and holy way, right? Well, take this application of that Five, 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 and put that out here into the real world, um, the 3D world matrix where black widows are taking men down all over the place. Um, I personally have a lot of experience watching for 50 years. I, I watched um, matriarchs in my own lineage really get very down and dirty with men um, in ways that were emasculating. Um, I learned how to be very emasculating because of that. That was the ethic of how we treat men. It was basically how we treat everyone. However, these were matriarchs very much standing in masculine energy and the very negative, low vibe um, attributes of masculine um masculinity and masculine behavior they stood in that they wrote in that and that's where they found their greatest power and so they sourced from primarily men you know um it's it's disgusting sounding um and it was absolutely disgusting to watch um people be consumed however it primarily came because the beguiling and the you know slick sexual overtones people in their kundalini mismanagement has all kinds of problems you know we've got kundalini kundalini weenie and and wop that just is out of balance people don't know what to do with their sexual energy they're awakening themselves sometimes unintentionally which is great power that sexual power is creative power it's it's uh, regenerative it's building power it's it's down you know in the lower regions however the lower regions of that power that energy is the raw form of it and when you slick that up into something that presents very cultured and very you know um, sweet and kind it can really get in there and do some ruthless business because that's just an act that's just a well-trained soldier that's just someone who's learned the skill, the art of seduction, mm, and really taken it to a whole new level. I mean, I saw matriarchs that <laughs> men didn't stick around long. They just did not. Um, and those that did were well-motored and moved in the direction that, that women wanted them to go. And I found myself in review after I went through a divorce, 808, thank you very much, um, that I looked back and went, ew, I really, I was exhibiting those same kinds of behaviors and really, really could never figure out, I don't want to be mommy here. I don't want to be in the position of telling um, this man what he should be doing. Um, he's already been, you know, very emasculated from where he came from and I'm not helping. However, I didn't know how to fix what I was doing. I had no idea just how much of an impact that has that it's so distorted that it does not give the masculine a whole lot of room to develop any of that masculinity in a healthy way nor does it allow the feminine to develop any of her stuff in a healthy way because it's a pattern that is a paradigm we no longer legitimately can use and get away with freely so you see a lot of that very seductive kundalini out of control you know weenie and wop stuff that it's all very mismanaged Managed. And we're hearing about the decades and decades and decades that this has already been going on. It's a matter now that the veil is gone and the emperor's new clothes, uh, that's nudity. <laughs> it's nudity, as Radar used to say on MASH. You know, nakedity makes me breathe funny. Makes a lot of other people breathe funny, too, when we start seeing, ew, you know? And that's why it's very critically important to notice behaviors. And even if it's all 
sweet and it just seems notice what's actually happening because as I was watching things unfold through a divorce I watched things that were so parasitic and so black widow so consuming that I'm literally I'm going to eat your soul if I have a chance and it sounds so dramatic and it sounds so it sounds whatever it is until one feels themselves literally being consumed by the vampiric energy it just so happens that my particular bundle of weirdness had a whole lot of sexual overtone and a lot of abuse in that direction and that's how Black Widow got her work done, was to be incredibly seductive and look very, very sexy and beautiful. And why wouldn't you, you know, come into my lair, you know, dum-dum, <laughs> come on in, yum-yum, is what that really ends in. And if a man or a woman, however they're presenting with their anatomy, remember, it really doesn't matter. Um, if we're presenting and not really uh, beyond the whole sexual component of, yeah, I really like that and I really want to satisfy down here a whole lot well we pay a price for when we're only wanting to satisfy our lower regions um, it's time now that we balance because coming from here taking that third eye activation and getting everything completely balanced and in line here with all of the chakras all of the information all of the masculine all of the feminine then we present with that ability to create here with the fire in the belly that real passionate creative raw energy 1111 thank you very much and we shoot that up through higher consciousness and the ability to see a higher vision and we don't start working our agenda because we don't have one agenda implies I'm consuming you at the end of this because I'm getting what I want to out of it we have a protocol we have a plan we have a way to go forward and it's the same way listening very carefully here to how do I maintain the balance of what I'm creating here up through all the chakras and all the higher intelligence to make sure that 1144 it's vetted through something higher than my lowest conscious available information. Believe me, if we're leading with Weenie or Wop, we're not correct. 11.55, we are not. We need those days are over where we led from, from the waist below. We also can't lead exclusively from the head head. We need the third eye, that one. We need to lead head and heart and keep that region here very well balanced. 12.12, it's all over. Synchronicity is here. The time for balance and renewal is here. The time for women to stop consuming men. Please stop blaming men for all the problems. Um, we create many problems and I know that, oh, there's some women that would be quite upset at me saying that. However, if you're familiar with a narcissistic woman or a black widow um, archetype in your life, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And as a man, you know, they know better than anyone if they've been consumed or if they feel they are being actively consumed. So carefully going forward with how do we use, how do we use our lower chakras and really do that with great integrity and do that with a great deal of honor and self-respect, which would not allow anyone except a legit 3D insect black widow to do her thing. Because in her world and her paradigm and in the natural order, she's allowed to do that 1313. That is part of her natural order. A human consuming another human, either physically or emotionally or financially or spiritually or any way at all, no, that is not part of our legal moves. We're not, we're not given authority to do that, despite the fact that we have for many, many, many generations. We're now cleaning up that mess. So I hope this is helpful, and I hope that whatever part of the day you're in, that you get within your skin and enjoy, friend. Get within your skin because you're divine. It is absolutely fine. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye, friends.